Ida roared ashore in Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane, carrying winds of about 150 miles per hour. Also, stoking fears storm surge could bring massive flooding and damage to a wide swath of the Gulf. We are tracking every angle of this with our team of reporters tonight. Let's start with our CBS News correspondent, Michael George, who has the latest from New Orleans tonight. Well, Sasha, I can tell you we're still getting pounded by Ida. It is hovering overhead right now. The wind was the biggest issue at first, those powerful winds that you mentioned. Now it's the rain. It is coming down torrentially here. We're seeing reports of flooding all throughout the area here. Right now we're in the French Quarter in New Orleans. We've seen trees down. We've seen roofs ripped off of the, uh, of the top of the buildings. It's just going to be a very long night for people here. The extremely dangerous hurricane made landfall in Louisiana as one of the strongest storms in the state's history. As Ida continues to pick up strength, the storm's impact is being felt and feared throughout the Gulf. Conditions are changing very rapidly. And obviously, we have a very dangerous situation on our hands with Hurricane Ida. FEMA says the coasts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida are in the life threatening storm surge warning area. President Biden visited FEMA headquarters in Washington as the agency prepared emergency services, including food, water, power generators, and search and rescue teams. This is going to be a devastating, a devastating hurricane, a life threatening storm. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell warned residents to stay put in a safe place. Heed all warnings. Ensure that you shelter in place, you hunker down. We're in New Orleans' famous French Quarter, just about 50 miles from where Hurricane Ida made landfall with 150 mile per hour winds. Where we are, the winds are getting more and more intense by the hour. We're already hearing reports of downed trees and roofs being ripped off. This tourist staying at a nearby hotel is worried about those who are less fortunate. We've got plenty of snacks and water. I'm much more concerned with the homeless population here in New Orleans. Gulf State residents were warned to either evacuate or beware that emergency services might not be available during the height of the storm. In its aftermath, utility companies say power outages could last for weeks. More than 600,000 people have already lost power at this point, and the storm isn't even close to over yet. So this seems like this is a situation that is going to take not just days, but possibly weeks to fully recover from. Sasha? Michael, very difficult situation out there. So you mentioned that, you know, this is hitting 16 years exactly since Katrina hit in New Orleans. A really chilling fact for so many. So in terms of the response and preparedness, what, preparedness, what has changed since then? Yeah, a lot of things have changed since then. Now, the levees and the flood walls, the collapse of those during Katrina led to so many of the loss of life, so much of the damage, so much of the flooding, and those have been strengthened considerably in the past 16 years. Billions of dollars spent to reinforce and strengthen the flood walls and the levees. So the hope is that they will hold. But of course, at this part, at this point, it's far too early to say it's going to be a very long night. Michael, thank you so much for your time, and please stay safe out there.